Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We're looking at the moral authority of the Tangri Faith. Faith. It's only 17.5. Despite all the territory we've taken over, the Tangri Faith has had a hard time. You know what, story-wise, I think what we're going to do is we're going to look at Dongerson in a second. Dongerson the third, but let's look at his father. His father was a scholarly theologian and a devout, um, I don't know, what do you call it, Tangriist? I would like to assume, because Dongerson Jr., Dongerson II, our man here, was um, a scholarly theologian. He came and he... he came. And a lot of ladies, that's why he's got all these babies. Um, I, I, I think he probably read up a lot in Tangriism about, you know, Tangri Algren... Was it Algen? The, uh, you know, good goose god who flies, and then Urkishi, his opposite, who's like the evil guy who tries to corrupt... And I would like to think that King Dongerson, as a theologian, took all his readings and the oral traditions and logic, because he was a really smart, learned man before the end of his life when he became a lunatic. His learning was at, like, 20. And I think he came up with his own kind of version of Tangriism. And by that, I don't mean, like, he totally rewrit all the rules, but just kind of of, this is why you're good. This is why you're bad. This is the relation to this and that. And, animal, and animism, you know, like the power and magic of animals. And I would like to think that his son, who is also a scholarly theologian, bought into the same learning. But of course, this learning of his father, Dungerson Jr., was just, it's just family kind of, you know, custom. But Dungerson III, I think, had a revelation now that he's in charge that he wants to change the Tengri religion and make the, the way his family looks at it be the way the whole Tengri religion does. He wants to reform the Tengri faith, even more than his father did, because he believes his father was right in a lot of things. Like, maybe his father wasn't ready to push it, but Dongerson the third is. So for Dongerson to do that, we need to get the moral authority up to 50. And we need to control three Tengri holy sites. We're pretty close on the piety, and he needs 750 in piety. He will get the piety. That's not a problem. So if we want to look at where these places are, only one of them is controlled by someone who's Tengri, Otukin, most of these, like if it's red, we're not. it's not controlled by some of our religion. If it's yellow, it's partially controlled. The closest one that is partially controlled of Tengri holy sites is this little place here, which I believe is controlled by a Jewish gentleman. Oh no, they actually put a Tengri guy in charge. So I think that's going to be one of the big pushes of Dongerson the Third. He's going to try and, you know, obviously increase his own territory, but he wants the religious concepts that his father came up with to be codified into the Tangri religion and for it to expand everywhere. Let's see, the Emperor Karl Karlin Lane wants to appoint um, Dongerson as Commander Summer. We're not going to do that. He hates our guy. Hopefully our Chancellor will make him like us. We're still pretty new. We're way over the vassal limit right now. Let's take a quick look at the vassals he has. Because some of them, because he's not been in charge very long, are not going to like him. Let's check out his... Uh, is that his brother? His nephew. His nephew has the Duchy of Vidin. Oh, yeah. So you're going to be powerful. Why don't we give you an honorary title? Let's give you... What, your stats are really good? We will designate you. We're going to take a risk. We're going to designate you the regent. Boom. Now, now we're in neutral territory. He doesn't like us, but it's neutral territory. The other thing we ought to do is probably form another duchy to try and get this vassal limit size down. So, let's see. Where is there a duchy worth, worth forming that we can? We could usurp the duchy of Moravia. Oh, that might be good because they might fight a war themselves to try and take that. So, who would be good for him? Let's see, you're 49. You're even older. I guess this guy would be. So let us look at the Duchy of Moravia. How much would it cost for us to usurp it? Um, it'll cost us 134 gold and give us some prestige. Okay, we're going to usurp the Duchy of Moravia. Whoever owned it here is probably mad. <laughs> I don't really care who is. It did. And we're going to give it to this guy. He hates us right now, but we're going to uh, grant him, hopefully this isn't a mistake, the Duchy of Moravia. And now he loves us. He absolutely loves us. Excellent. We're turning enemies into friends. At the same time, we're trying to lower the uh, problems with the limit there. 
The other thing we're going to do at some point is probably consider a war against Bulgaria. If we're going to take the holy site here, one of the five holy sites of the Tangri religion, the Temple Akhmesit, then we have to get close enough where we can attack it. And to do that, we need to get through Bulgaria. And the thing is, our guy's Bulgarian. Our whole family's been Bulgarian. And if we look at the de jure kingdom of Bulgaria, that's all right here. Only recently did we get some... Well, we had that one for a while. But only recently did we get this. So a lot of this area is the same culture as us. Not the same religion, but culture. So if we take it over, and we use this once-per-lifetime subjugation war thing, if we take this over... We could hypothetically greatly expand the kingdom, maybe get to a place where we can declare independence eventually, and hopefully have people who already like us because they're already Bulgarian. They might not like us. I don't know. I'm not their moms. Oh, what we ought to do too is find another vassal that we can kiss up to because we do have the cupbearer thing we can give out. Let's find somebody who's close. High Chief. That would be perfect. He's the High Chief of... which is basically like a duchy. Okay, that's not really big, but that's still, it's two territories. We will, <clears throat> sorry, give him the honorary, honorary, here's your honorary mm, title of cupbearer, carry my cup for me. And now he likes us. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That'll help us with that too. Eventually when we get more money, we're going to want to create some more duchies and get this limit a little better set. Actually, is there anything technology wise we can do to help that? don't see anything we can. I'm going to make a weird noise. Ah! <laughs> it's good to be king. Oh, the music sounds too low. Most of these LPs I look back and I'm like, the music's too low or it's right. Because the music varies greatly in this game. It's got some cool music in it, though. All right, who needs to be edumacated? Our half-sister, Gurgana. Oh, I forgot. Our dad had sex with tons of people. Does our guy have concubines? Yes, he's got lots of concubines. He's got his wife. He's got his eldest son, Drizlav, who we betrothed to a little kid. That's all right. She's a genius. A defeat? Where? Who the fuck is that guy? Is that in this war? Or this war? I think that might be in one of the Emperor's War, because the Emperor is fighting a war. Basically, the Byzantine Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, I think the West French dudes and the Aquitanians are all fighting a holy war to defend this part of the Byzantine Empire against the Muslims. I got no problem against the Muslims, though they are kicking the crap out of our Tangri friends in the... Um, East. And Galatia, part of Spain, continues to they have a good chunk of England. I wonder if the English uh, kingdom is going to be formed because of S Portuguese invaders. That happens. That's historically accurate. Everybody else invaded the UK. Oh. <laughs> uh, lucky for me, my friend Lauren doesn't watch these videos. <laughs> She's from England. She would give me so much grief. All right, we're making progress on this. How are we doing financially? All right, we're in the green. We say black if we um, did it differently, but... Oh, speaking of which, we'll keep that time a little low. Let's look at Bulgaria. Bulgaria. There's the queen of Bulgaria. She has 1,890-some troops. Who are her allies? She's got a bunch of allies. Most of them are just counts. There's a duke. Some of them do have sizable troops, admittedly. That could be a problem. She's got a lot of powerful duke friends. Man, I would love to subjugate all Bulgaria here. Victory! Alright, so we finished that war. We will take the land from that little kid. Uh, we took this area here. What the hell? Did we get where to? Wait, who the hell are you? Why am I your liege now? Okay, somehow we got this territory here too. I don't know how that happened. But, alright. 
We, we got where to? Who is this guy? He's Slavic pagan. And he's Pomeranian and he doesn't like us. Well, whatever, man. Not everybody loves us. Such is life. Can we declare war against Silesia or do we already fight a war against these guys? What about this little area? Oh no, he's got a fair amount of troops. Alright, so we're going to take this. We're going to make some more friends here in a moment. Slowly we're getting our prestige up. He has such negative prestige. I guess because Dongerson III just couldn't fill the shoes of the great Dongerson Jr. So we'll put a guy in charge of this as the mayor. We'll put a guy in charge of the temple here. As we continue to put more Tengri people in charge, we will put a guy in charge of that. And then, what is this, Brandenburg? We will actually hold Brandenburg. Because we have room in here in our vassal limit, even though our territories are now like all over the fucking place. But that's actually a pretty good place. It's one of the things about being pagan like we are. We're, we'll have these guys go the long way around. So it's quicker to uh, break them up. But being pa uh, pagan like we are is that um, when someone dies, we have to divide all our stuff through gavel kind of different kids. My liege! It's the Chancellor. I have given many tug jobs to the new emperor, Carl the Bold. I call him Carl Cuckold. <laughs> oh, so much jizz and shame. But you made him like us more. Good job, Chancellor. You demand, holy shit, 27,000 troops? Asperg. That's, okay, let us tell our troops to go home. Oh, were those all, all vassal troops we used? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's bring our retinue back home. I'm pretty sure we can't increase our retinue anymore. I think we're at the limit. No, we can't increase it more? Oh, no, no, we can't. We're pretty close to it. It did increase, though. I must, I must, I must increase my bust. What duchy is this area? Sorbia. Oh, those two. What about Posen? Oh, that's part of Greater Poland? If we had more money, we could create the uh, Duchy of Greater Poland and give that to somebody. Man, that's a big duchy. I do not like the concept of giving away big duchies. What about over here? This is mostly a little shitty tribal region. thought about giving this one away before. But we have to get some more money so we can create that title. Well, once we get our troops back, assuming nothing bad happens, perhaps we can start looking at Bulgaria. The biggest problem we have right now is finances. Money is a little tight. Why don't we look at our laws? Low centralization works for us. We could go to minimal centralization. Would that be better? Giving us more limits? That gives us a plus 10 vassal limit. Oh man, maybe we should. We're going to go to minimal centralization, or try to, to try and get that number way up so we'll be okay with our vassal limit. Hopefully that... I don't know what other drawbacks there are to that. I like Dongerson the Third. I mean, he's no Dongerson Jr., but that's pretty brave of him to be like, you know what? I've got some good ideas. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, you know, divide these things up this way. Is oh, he's infirm. That's all right. He's got babies. We do want to start his subjugation war as soon as we can. What about for Magyar? I don't know. Magyar is getting its ass kicked by so many other people. As much as I would love to attack them, the truth is Bulgaria is probably a, worth a lot more. Unfortunately, it'll make it so we're bordering the Byzantine Empire even more, but we're already on their doorstep. Speaking of which, let's see how big they are. This little kid, the emperor of the Byzantine Empire, has 20,000 troops. Poop. That's a lot. Holy poopzilla. He's a poop monster I made. <laughs> what? Sometimes I say things and then I'm like, why did I even say that? All right, let's get these troops back home. We want to fight Bulgaria. 
Chief Kaibar of Eisenberg has provided me with proof that Chief Besmer of Bihar has been viciously slandering me. Well, that's our chancellor. He's the guy who gives tug jobs. He's probably all like, Oh, the king makes me jerk off the emperor. It's so gross. I hate him. Yeah, well, he's probably telling the truth. We're not going to keep that information to ourselves. He's a good chancellor. He's made multiple emperors like us, which is a pretty big deal since we're different faiths and they think we're, um, well, we're, we're foreigners. We're different culture. We're Bulgarian. Now we're finally going to claim our rights to Bulgaria. Yeah. So basically, everything from this river in this line to the east that is white, I know I say it all the time, is ours. Are we being sieged under here? That's somebody else's war. This guy can deal with it. <laughs> He's not dealing with it really well. His city's being burned. He's only got like one troop. It's like him. He's like, how am I going to defend this? Why did they put me in charge? <laughs> yeah, it sucks to be you. Defend the Northern Empire. Or kingdom, sorry. Dictopolis family is not emperors yet. Well, the king is banishing some people. I don't really care about that. Wait, weren't we lowering the laws to minimum? Come on! Why doesn't everybody want lower centralization? Oh, it's because not everybody likes the king. I see how it is, you dipshits. More and more of them are going to like him, though. You can see the short reign penalty is negative 21. So as time goes on, that's going to decrease. This guy's going to hate us no matter what. Who the hell are you? Oh, I think that's one of our brothers. Yeah, he wants to be king. Well, whatever. He's way up there in buttfuck land. Not a big problem. We have more important things to do. He's like children. It is time for us to spread the religion. Add your lady part so I can make more babies. You'll be like, you're just like your dad. Yes, my dad made many babies with many ladies. Sometimes they would die. No, I got old. <laughs> Prince Dominic, uh, our second son, is of legal age. He became a scholarly theologian. I'll let him marry whoever the hell he wants. I don't care. Your spy master, Keisha Ashina, seems to have friends and informants inside every Jewish community in Europe. Messenger pigeons arrive at his abode on a daily basis, often carrying vital intelligence from abroad with new weapons and tactics. More military tech points. Man, this guy's fucking awesome as a spy master. This guy right here, Keisha the Lecher. So look at our military advanced stuff. What I really want, even though there's a huge head penalty. Do you have to wait before I can do this? Removes the pagan homeland attrition penalty. Oh, I want that bonus. Why can't I get it? Does shipbuilding have to be higher before I can do that? Or does everything else have to be at three? I'm not quite sure how that works. How close is shipbuilding? 6.6. 6. All right, we'll spend... Oh, wait, no, this is just we don't have enough points yet. That's 734. We don't really need shipbuilding yet. I mean, we only have one coastal area. We're not exactly going to become a great navy power. Come on, Ret News, get your butts back here. We've got wars to go to. I'm getting old. I'm not getting any younger. But I'm getting well hunger. Oh! <laughs> not really. Get off my wife! Wait, you're my wife. Oh, what's hard? All right, let's get everyone back to Sir Dicka, what used to be Sophia. Uh, my liege, your low character is the subject of great plays. I have discovered a plot where Chief Teleg of Schla seeks to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Ogwart. Tell him to stop. Who the fuck are you? Knock that shit off. Quit doing that crap. None of that, alright, dipshit? No. The answer is no. Alright, next episode. I hate to do it now when we've done all these things the very next episode. You know, actually, fuck, we'll do it right now. So we'll be like, hey, queen. What do you want? I like you. Let's be friends. Really? No. Declare war. We're subjugation.
So we want to take out her whole king. Can't we do subjugation against her? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, I don't see that! Hmm. Well, that's not going to work the way I want, then. Hmm. Alright, I'll be back next time when I figure out who we're going to war with. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for hanging out.